giving all honor to God and His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Brother Kev, once again, allow me to try to get my words out. I'm in the King James Version of the Bible, of course, King James only. 1 Corinthians, around the third chapter, let's start at 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So, so do, do people of the world hear me out? Do you want to be destroyed? And your so-called poets and role models are glamorizing fornication, but your body is not for fornication, but for the Lord. These music videos, and I was so disgusted because the young people are watching people like Cardi B. Cardi B and the harlotry, the whorish behavior of Cardi B with that song. And you, y'all know what it is because you've probably heard, but these preachers need to stand up and talk about it. She's a harlot. She's a devil. She needs to repent. And all them females that were in the video, I heard now you got even... Uh, uh, deaf people, uh, deaf females doing the doing the uh, uh, the video and 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 wop and all this. They're deaf and 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 they remain blind. But Jesus Christ in the light of the gospel can allow you to see and even hear. So hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. The pastor need to stand, stand up, up to this wicked harlotry from Cardi B's and females like her with that old wicked Jezebel spirit. It's sick. Do you want to be destroyed? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. It's time to stand up to this mess. Let me skip down for time's sake. Therefore, let no man glory in men. You're glorying in these mega church preachers. T.D. Jakes, uh, John Gray, which I've already sounded a warning against both of you snakes in the pulpit. Pimps in the pulpit, the John Gray, all these allegations of women, I don't know. But I know usually when you have a mega church, you're false. Your, your doctrine is false. Your lifestyle, you're buying uh, exotic cars. Somebody may uh, drive a Pinto to your church, but you're you, you giving your, you know, your wife Lamborghinis and fur coats. and the 200K. I'm not even going to waste my time, John Gray. I've already gave you warning. Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul. Now, Paul was an apostle. And all of you so-called apostles, just know this. The Bible tells me to try the spirits, whether they be of God. For many false prophets are gone out into the world. Or if you claim to be a prophet, best believe you're going to be tried. You have tried them who called themselves apostles and found them liars. I have to try you. Call you, email you, make comments. Try them. And it's up to you to do your job since you claim to have such a high position and be an apostle and you can't even heal COVID-19. But just know that's my job. To try you. Brother Kev. Amen. And those like me. The saints of God. Therefore, let no man glory in men for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos. Now, Apollos, he was he was a, a elegant speaker like 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 John Gray and, and T.D. Jakes. They're such elegant speakers. But what are they truly saying? Are they truly telling you what you must do to be born again, born of the water, the water baptism in Jesus name and to have the Holy Ghost and to have that evidence? Amen. Don't forbid to speak in tongues. Amen. Or Cephas, Cephas, that's talking about, about Peter, and he was an apostle. Or the word of life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours. And ye are Christ's, and Christ is God's. Wow, Christ, well, I thought Christ was God. And ye are Christ's, and Christ is God. Even Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, got a head. Like I said, I'm in 1 Corinthians, the third chapter. Look at 3.11. I want to I get this out for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So the foundation have got to be the son of God, because when you say Jesus Christ, you're talking about the son of God. Jesus with the title implied, which means anointed. He was anointed by the father. I've said it many of times because I heard a so-called apostle say the foundation is that Jesus is God. That's got to be your foundation. No, that's not enough. Just like the Ethiopian Enoch, he had to. Believe with all of his heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Then he was ready to be baptized. Let me show you something. Matthew, the 16th chapter. I'm going to start at 15, but let me set it up because Jesus wanted to know whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am. 
So let's pick up in 15. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. In other words, a man didn't, you wouldn't taught this by a man, but my Father, he had a Father, yes, which was in heaven, amen, revealed it unto him. And Verse 18, and I say unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will be my, build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So he's going to build his church upon the foundation. I said it's Jesus Christ, but that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So you want people who are lifting up Jesus Christ being the Son of God. That's the foundation, not just because you know that Jesus Christ is God, but you say it, but you don't understand it. He was called God. Yes. Go to Hebrews, the first chapter. But you have to say it with understanding. But you have to focus on the Savior. He was made both Lord and Christ. And that's Jesus Christ, the son of God. That's the foundation, Mr. Apostle. The apostles, were they just preach? Oh, Jesus Christ is God. Well, it has to be. The mystery has to be. Come on. Come on. The hidden truth, mystery, hidden truth. And look. The hidden truth was this, and it was revealed through Jesus Christ, that God created all, all things, things through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Paul wrote it, Ephesians 3.9. He didn't know 3, that in times past, but Jesus Christ came, he revealed it. Even through his apostles. But Acts, the ninth chapter, a true apostle, the apostle Paul, what did he preach? Acts 9 and 20, and straightway he preached Christ in the synagogues that he is the son of God. A lot of y'all like to say, well, the Romans said he was the son of, truly this was the son of God. But what did the apostle preach? That he is the son of God. Let's turn to Revelations 1 and 18 for the sake of time. Jesus Christ speaking. I am he that liveth and was dead. Did the father die? No, that's Jesus Christ, the son of God. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Amen. We ain't talking about the keys to the White House. We're talking about the one who has the key. Amen. He's going to give you the keys to know to get in. Be blessed.